Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 of course using a special mod called Back to Front which tries to give us a more historical version of World War 2 even though by the end of this we're probably not going to be very historical a lot of the focus trees that this mod uses or has or changes it's just making sure that the country should go historical even though we do have historical focus on uh, but we're not starting with the Rhineland which breaks I guess probably the historical factor but we're doing the four-year plan we need an ambitious plan to provide for the rearmament and ultimate self-sufficiency of the nation. This should be achieved within the next four years. But important information about a certain word in Argentina. As Germans, we have the chance of promoting our national ideals in Argentina where they have a lot of supporters. If we ever boost a certain party popularity in Argentina to a level where Argentina becomes a popular country, it would be guaranteed to join our faction. If we want to make it happen, we better start now. If we are unable to sway Argentina before the end of 43, they will most likely join the U.S. instead. 300 political power? That's alright. Great, they accept their influence, which they better for at least a little under five years. Nice. But we'll go with this, and I, you know, like I said, I want to go historical, but at this point, eh, we'll see. You know what, I want to do something I don't normally do. Let's try to get Hungary and Romania with us first. Girls from Vyashov. Um, we must prepare Germany for his destiny as the centerpiece of Europe. Our infrastructure will bind them together the west with the east and the south with the north. Because I always go the other route, which honestly makes more sense for us to go to Rhineland and then do all stuff too, but... You know, since we can't do Anschluss because we need a crap ton of manpower in the field. Uh, you know, just, just deploy whatever we got right now. Because uh, these guys are not bad. We'll just deploy them as fast as we possibly can. I'd probably make new army groups. Also, we did send soldiers to Ethiopia, which is obviously not very historical as well, but whatever. Uh, there you go. Have fun with that. Have fun. Uh, oh, and now uh, the capitulate. We'll get our guys back. Model, thank you for joining. And where are our plans? Because they were having fun in Ethiopia. Nothing says fun like bombing Ethiopians. Uh, we're going to train. Now we have like no political power. We're doing MEFO bills like normal. We need to demand increased tra Dutch trade with Germany. Uh, yeah. And this mod does have some slightly different focus trees, or at least different technologies. Yeah, not so much focus trees, just technologies and stuff. Like we have agriculture for more, slightly more research speed and monthly population. Resource efficiency game would be pretty nice. Local manpower plus 1% ain't bad either, so. Uh, we definitely have a lot of options here. 1934 medium tanks? Actually, uh, let's take a look. Due to the USSR, finish re finishing research into the basic medium tank chass chassis. And I'll also use two new tank designs. Well, I might as well get the research done. Why not? Screw it, why not? We don't have a lot of political power right now, but you know, what else is new? Also, we do have things to read about here, but before we do that, let's read another focus, even though I've read these before. All in Hungary! Hunger is already in our sphere of influence, but we can easily sway them further to our way of thinking, making them even more easily manipulable in the future. Because we love manipulating people. Throughout history, some states have been under the rule of others, but it's one thing to seize power and quit another to keep it. Having an ideological basis, volunteers cooperate with the occupiers in various forms, military, political, economic, and administrative. During the Second World War, the Reich uh, primarily accepted to use both the human resources of its own nation or an ethnic group close to it, and recognizing absolutely foreign peoples as equals and close to itself. Most of the divisions created... Um... From volunteers in occupied territories were in one way or another mostly formed from the Volksdeutsch. However, both with a series of defeats and with a large number of prisoners of war, uh, Germany began to form a combat-ready divisions among former uh, among collaborators under the auspices of the fight against Bolshevism. By the end of the war, the ideological factor played a huge role, giving impetus to the emergence of such forces as ROA, CONR, UOV, and the various SS formations as pan-European national forces, not just German ones. By the end of the war, Germany faced huge problems uh, as Austria-Hungary did during the First World War, where its own army was, spoke completely different languages. And of course, we keep, we'll keep paying for this. Uh, working on our debt. We'll read about this one too. Foreign volunteers as well, which is pretty normal, but I'll land Romania next. And then maybe we'll do it with the Rhineland. Romania's already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily sway them further to our way of thinking, making them even more manipulable in the future too. Is it smart to do it like that right now? Probably not, but you know, oh well. Secret rearmament, nice. Interventionism, not bad. Tree of Trianon, yeah, they could use more influence here. Way more influence here, too. So, um, and Maple Bells, uh, let's see. Also, there's optimization with this mod, so it should move relatively fast. Uh, so for example, like if you go to Brazil, SSO, SOO optimization is not a World War II country and controlled by the AI. If you're a player, click to call it AI to player, SOO optimization decision, just so that they can't make anything or do anything really, so we'll see about that. 
But SS or the SS from the Schusselfall Guard Detachment is a subsidiary paramilitary organization of the NSDAP until 1934, subordinated to another subsidiary party organization, SA, which consolidated itself in an organization of political soldiers of the party. Initially, its function was to protect the leaders of the party, it was organized on the basis of the HQ Guard Adolf Hitler, and to protect the Big Daddy. Subsequently, this organization was given a variety of functions, from ensuring the functioning of the system of institutions of extrajudicial detention and re-education in concentration camps, to the training of young people in special party schools, i.e. national political academies. Hey, Spain's killing itself. Its mission since the appointment of its leader, Mr. Heinrich Daddy Himmler, the SS saw in the reconstruction of the newly Aryan humanity, even before the Nazis came to power, acquiring the eyes of both its members and outsiders the image of the elite part of the Nazi party. Part of the members at the end of the war were the most significant served and structured modeled on army formations, units and divisions up to the army HQ since 1939, operatively subordinated to the German armed forces and de facto included in their composition as a fourth component of the Wehrmacht. And of course in 1940, they are called the Waffen SS, SS troops, Allgemein SS, enables recruitment of elite anti-partisan Allgemein SS units with strong defensive capabilities but low attack power versus Waffen SS, enables recruitment of elite Waffen SS troops. So, cool. And this is, of course, 1936, like we said. And we want to focus on a lot of industry. I like the base. The base is very nice. You get 5% uh, less output, but for factory stuff. But less bomb, factory bomb vulnerability. I always like dispersed. Ooh, specialized industry. That's kind of different, too. Electronics industry. Uh, so we'll go with that one for now. And I'll recommend just the ships. Just a bunch of ships. Six ships here. Send some really crappy subs over there. That's fine. There you go. Don't care yourself too much. And let's see. You can help out some nationalists. Very nice. 210 planes is not enough. And do more cl close air support. Thank you very much. And we do have some coffee to keep us nice and warm. Boom, boom, boom. Help them out. Do a lot of damage. Seriously, do a lot of damage. We have like no fuel though. It's all right. Uh, for now, actually, you know what? I never click on this. We're gonna go with. High fuel priority. Navy, not so important. Air, way, 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 way more important. Make up more divisions, would be very nice. I'm not hungry, rely on Romania. And then we'll do, uh. Because technically, doesn't this block the other major powers from doing some of the focuses here? Maybe not. It doesn't matter to me. Nice. And then Rhineland. Uh, the Rhineland has been demilitarized since the end of the Great War, but this insult shall stand no longer. Germany is a sovereign nation and is free to move troops anywhere within her borders. Which should be very, very true. And it is very, very true. Ooh, actually, you know what? No, I don't want to send these divisions. I want to send... Ooh. Oh, I want to send the Panzers. Well, screw it. You're going to become Panzers right now. And I'm going to convert... Uh, let's see. You two. Entry. Doing it like this is kind of stupid, but whatever. There you go. Get all stuff done first. Maybe important a thing of fuel or two. Also, we're just going to keep building a milli and city from here on out. Who do you want to trade with? Yeah, the Netherlands. Yeah, why not? Trucks, light tanks. We don't have enough. But what else? New games are nice. We love games here. Got them out a little bit more. And uh, they pretty much already have it once. But that's all right. Come over here too. And when you're done with that, do that too. Look at that air damage. Perform pilot exercise and just daily XP gain. Um, is there really no other airbase close enough? We're still doing a good amount of damage and stuff. But still. But still. And we'll focus on getting a lot of political power first. That's, that's, that's like always my goal. Actually. Give me a model. Not model, but model. And I'll keep that much for now. Um, do build battle. Can they pierce us? We're not in the battle yet. But now we are. Yeah, they can kind of pierce us, which does suck. Of course, we don't have any fuel, but whatever. A little bit of a struggle, but what else is new? Because first, like I normally do, this one, we'll get more political power. We'll go into way more. Tactics, close combat, close combat, assault, of course. 
Good stuff. I'll land roaming it. Now I'll do the roundly, maybe. Please have political power. And then I'll talk to you. For Germany to be truly great, it must be self sufficient. We must make use of our resources. Become more efficient in our construction. Ooh. Let's finish that millage. Not bad. There we go. Oh, they're forced attacking. Interesting. Oh, wait, what is this? Construction. More output? You can get more equipment experience cost. Leader skill bonuses. Research speed and daily army XP gain? Okay, yeah. Local manpower plus 1%. So there's efficiency gain and engineering. Interesting. Alright, not bad. Better already wouldn't be bad either. Logistics, stuff like that. You know, let's keep focusing more on industry for now. Local manpower. It gives a research efficiency gain. We do extract a small bit of oil, but not very much. Um, yeah, I don't see any other air base around here. Here to this area first. There you go. That should really help us out. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, my goodness. It helps out so much more. These are doing actually very, very well. Let me come right here. Let's knock them off right there. Radio is very good because you want as much coordination as possible, which uh, increases the amount of damage dealt to the primary target in combat. Other damage is spread over all of the targets, so it really focuses on the top target, I think, to begin. So. Are you down here already? Holy crap. That's really fast. Ah, volunteers. I see. Trucks. Light tanks are enough. We need more trucks, though. And I want to focus on a lot of planes. Lots and lots of planes in this campaign. And we're going to do the uh, other thing, too. You're just going to plop them out. It's fine. It doesn't matter. One buck. It's fine. Why are you winning here or losing? Not for now. Very good amount of damage. Could be better, though. Come down here. Can I go peeding? Nice. As long as we went up here, we could probably win down here, too. And what else? More industry. Local manpower? Yes. Ryland. It is German territory, after all. Um, innovations, autarky. Uh, Integrate war economies. Not bad. You get six. You get war economy immediately, but still. Um, prefer in Jap China, pa Japan. We'll probably do this one. Uh, anti commentary pact. Without well, eventually. Army innovations first. And then we'll do Altarchy. That's good area. Another radical theorist are pushing for the new daring doctrines, emphasizing communication, identification of Schwerpunkt, and local concentrations of combined armed forces. Gain the free range might help avoid the meat grinder horrors of the Great War. It's about promote. Oh! Oh! Prevents all ACE-related events to show up for the next 30 days. It'll still occur and the effects will still be applied, but you won't show, be shown on the alert anymore. After 30 days, events will show up normally again. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is so good. Why doesn't Paradox already have that in the, in the game? Oh, we're already on push mobilization. So, let's go with you, because you're actually good for fighters. And then... Grab. Ooh, we're going to get agreeables eventually, too, but we're going to go with uh, Mon Bowman. Nice. We're really racking up a lot of air XP. Look at that. That's beautiful. The Panzer Leader, Von Vikes, yes. So good. Um, oh! Restore Ace events. Since the, since the stats were muted. Zero, zero, zero. Well, let's see. Bowman. Now 1.73 is not bad every day. And... There you go. Very good. Army innovations, and then autarky, and then maybe air innovations. We're better Germany to be truly great. It must be self-sufficient. We must make better use of resources and become more efficient in our construction. You know, I think I just read that one too, but whatever. 
More output, yes please. More soldiers out, yes please. I think over there too. How much men do we have in the field? Uh, we're getting close to uh, half a million. Getting close. At the very least, closer. Even more damage. More. Just racking up a bunch of air XP. I love it. So, yeah, a few more millies. We can use more trucks, because at least trucks quite a bit. Artillery, we could use more of, but just like planes, rubber, refineries. More damage, man. Probably close out of collaborators for now. Argentina and the Axis are intelligence and propaganda efforts. Produce results. Argentina now shares ideology and can join a faction as the leader of the Axis in South America. No. They join. I do want to do this as well, but let's do air innovations next. Uh, more savings would be good first, though. Oh, this would be really good, too. Rex Autobahn would be very good. I mean, those are all very good to do as well. I want the extra user slot, though. Um, honestly, this can wait probably just a little bit. I, I want factories this first. I'm going to go back on. Most readers still have the fickle influence of private capitalists. Therefore, they form an industrial conglomerate under our control to oversee growth in the mining and steel sectors, as well as form the backbone of... Oh, no. Uh... Of a military industry. Oh crap! Please, please, please don't drag us into a war. Oh, getting him this early on is probably a bad idea. Well, wow. plus point five every day. That's very strong. Palatine War. Is this is it the border war? I, hope, I don't think it is, but I wish. Uh, I'll put. We're really going to need an extra more research slots here. Hopefully the, the mod's good enough that they don't get involved. We can do that for now. Who else do we want? Ooh, shock. For 75, that's not bad. We do have research and production set here, which is only 30, which is not bad, too. Scout planes. I don't ever use scout planes. High command for each section. Uh, we probably should start thinking about getting this more for more daily army XP gain and whatnot here, too. Which will come in handy quite a bit. But let's go just get, um... Kind of industry. We're still building civvies. We're still building millies up at all times, so. Oh, good. Go straight down. If you can, of course. But you should be able to do it, right? Yeah. Do enough damage here. Go up by 10 more. still in there maybe maybe they can still kind of pierce so you know hold first hold first this guy's coming up that's actually very good for us okay, two. Empty 37 of course keep building keep building extraction research speed factory output that's all good very good stuff to get chemical industries one yes more output two That's a case. Hmm. Where do we want to go? Around Madrid, maybe? Might be able to. Hmm. Dive bombing? I kind of want to go with this one. Research speed is better. Design cost is way better. Continuous strikes. Ground attack. Get that one first. Alright. Uh, Next generation chance. And that one. Because we can. Nice. Are we up here yet? Oh, I actually took out that part. Fast neutrality act, which is good to see. Military staff. Anti sub, dude. Coffee, yes. And very tasty. Very good. Come on, get in there, and you're defending. Very good, very good, very good. 
training, train, and then deploy. Keep shoving them out. Over here, increase the trade. It's fine. Keep working on making millies, civvies, all that good stuff. Guns are fine for now. Artillery's not bad. We're using more planes and rubber and stuff like that. These guys are already veterans, which is great. Um, yeah, I want to use... Let's get Rommel first, maybe. Imagery's not bad either, but I want Rommel. Theorists. Help us out as well. Are they doing force defense? No, I don't think so. No, they're not. Which is fine, whatever. Alright. Of course, again, some of the stuff too wouldn't be bad either. More factory output. IG Farben would be good as well. That'd be very good as well to get. Well, I'll roll to get more daily army XP. It's good. <clears throat> Can they pierce us? No. That's a very good thing. Alright, so after this one. Uh, you know what, go here and then we'll do air innovations. Well, our citizens purchase their own future people's car through a saving scheme, which in turn will use a finance and construction factory that will eventually contribute to building these cars. And there they go as well. Well, since we're here, how well, about the Japanese? I'm going to send three divisions. Well, at the very least, send the air volunteers first. Do they have any air bases around here? Doesn't look like it. Well, they're these guys. 300. That's not bad. Three flipping hundred. Fighters. Attack bombers. Uh, also, I don't think attack bombers just because we don't have the range probably we really want yet. Yeah, th these guys want really that much range. Materials, population speed, research and construction gain. Yep, yeah, make room for our guys and you'll be okay. Trucks, nice. Cool. I'll do some onshots probably very soon too. Um, help out. Good. And help out. Good. More trade? Yes. Do that too, because you can. Oh, I should have got Rommel. Dang it, I forgot about that. I want more stability anyway, so. So after this one, then we'll do Treaty with the USSR. We can pursue a new research treaty with the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics in order to develop chiefly better tanks. If they agree, we can reopen the tank school we closed down in Kama in 1933. And Soviet cooperation will, of course, mean that they too will benefit from the innovations made. Which is fine, whatever. Uh, help out. Help out. Uh, help him out. Because he can. Get bugs divisions. Nice. Very good. First industry. Very good. Refuel from refineries. Very good. More output. More research speed. Very good. Tons and tons and tons and tons of research, please. Good, good, good. Just shooting up a whole bunch. Kind of like drugs. Shoot them up a whole bunch. Wow. These guys, horses. I feel bad for the horses. Not for the humans, but at least for the horses. Nice. Uh, through the SR. Yep. And then follow it up with what? Oh, research, research slot. Our industrial expansion, another reason in advance, might allow us to conduct more R&D in parallel. Which we absolutely will need, so. Very cool. Help me out, help me out. Good, good, good. Oh, if you go down here, that'd be great. Destroy this little pocket here. I don't know, I'll try and get that one guy right now. It's probably a mistake, but whatever. We need a t just a crap ton of fuel. Like I've done before, we'll make Poland into a uh, synthetic fuel plant. Rommel, yeah. Now we can focus on other stuff. 
Of course, these divisions are... They're just okay. They're not great. These panzers... Um, go to another one, and then another one. Yeah, for now, that, that'll be okay. It makes them bigger, stronger, faster. There we go. Requires more materials and stuff like that, but it just makes them bigger, thicker. A proper division combo, I think. Uh, how are the planes doing? Go, go to 200. Why not? Come on, come on, come on, guys. You got it. Excavation dose. What is this? Oh, hungry, yeah. Yeah, a bunch of fascists here. We're getting a fascist party together. French Republican violence to the non-intervention committee. Leon Blum officially called for the formation of a non-intervention committee that is supposed to ensure that no outside intervention is ongoing an ongoing war in Spain. However, the draft polls circulated with a message containing practically no robust methods of enforcing non-intervention. If we agreed to not intervene, a multitude of loopholes ensures that we'd still be able to affect the war in Spain should we choose so. The only tangible effect there will be a minor boost of popular support of the government of Leon Blum. Okay. Why not? Honestly, if anything, you guys come over here. And you guys. They'll just defend there. That's a one one army. You guys go there too. You'll learn to go nuts. And supply is going to actually be quite bad probably right here. Um, what do we want to put your supply hub? Uh, air base, infrastructure. You might want to get through like a naval base here. Maybe one. That'll be fine. They should both get their column for now. Force it. More damage, more damage, more damage, more damage. Come on, come on. Seriously, how are these guys like not, not dead? They can't pierce us either. Oh, they, they did break our tactics. You guys are relatively far away too. Okay, come to Madrid and do it, yeah. Now you should have zero issues with bombing the crap out of them. <sighs> Come on. That's alright. We'll go here and we'll go here. Germans accept the Soviet, uh, German Soviet Treaty. Negotiations with the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics have been successful. An agreement has been reached where our nations will aid each other in the development of new armored vehicles, with a possible extension of other research areas in the future. This treaty will be a stepping stone to the future. Yay! Ah, oh, there's still the Air Bisser, too. Darn it. My god, can you can you move your, soul, your things out of here, you ding-dongs? Let us operate here. I guess I could have taken out other nations first to start off, because sometimes they do it too, like Poland or someone else, but you know, at this point I don't really care. So I'll let you do it too anyways, but whatever. Millies, civvies, millies. And go with synthetic. That'd be nice. Good, IG Farben. They're just really good. We're actually lost there, huh? In both areas. Ah, request of government sale of airplanes, realizing a strategic weakness. The Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize expanse force. Significant money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling on Europe to look for new sources of fires and medium bombers. Given the urgency of the issue, the Yugoslavians have instead on immediate delivery of transfer plans directly from the producer. We got some tech bombers. 
Which doesn't help that we have no fuel. Um, I'm a little disappointed that we don't get as much from here. That's good. Way more fuel. Chemical industry, nice. Okay, I'll put electronics industry. Navy requires none. Uh, fuel gain daily is not enough. Let's increase it by a little bit more. Now maybe we can actually do some stuff here. Agriculture 2. Factory dockyard output, yes. Now our tanks can do something here. My fault for not having enough fuel. It happens, you know. Now go right there then. There we go. More agility. Oh, you actually get more superiority too. No, that's pretty nice. Good. Now there's your slot. Now let's go and befriend Japan. We've long held. Actually, you know what? Let's do Anschluss first, and then Japan. The Anschluss, or Union with Austria, is a long held goal of the German people. Although forbidden by the Treaty of Versailles, the time has finally come to bring it about. Let's offer the Austrians a chance of sharing our glorious destiny. That'd be nice. Happy 38. I, and I'm realizing that I'm actually following. I'm not playing this optimally. Because like, someone will tell me, you're not playing this optimally, man. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. I know. But if you do, then the board that'll convince them to join us. Way better. Look at all those guys in circle, including some Soviet divisions. Nice. Yes, we got a little bit of fuel here now. Oh, can you actually move some guys over there now? Then again, I guess we don't really need fighters. They don't really have planes, do they? You to hold. You go back, have fun. And you just go to town on the guys. Doing just a crap ton of damage. The faster the Japanese w can win, the better everyone's going to be off for our faction. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And we're out of fuel again. What else is new? One box is doing quite well. Could be better, of course, but, you know, quite well. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's go with what? Continue to strike. Dive bombing? It is 38 only. But the design cost is so cheap. Ground attack? Why not? Screw it. Something slightly different than before. Close air support. How much does it cost, actually? Not bad. And reliability, I've learned, is not... It's, it's important, but not extremely, extremely, extremely important. Siemens, electronics, more output. Crop would be very good. Ooh, 10% more output. Ooh. 10% more output, too. Oh, political power gain as well. Oh, oh, yeah, I gotta go with that one. Get more factories, get more of everything, please. Actually, after doing Anschluss, we will befriend Japan as well, but still. Commence down then. A couple more million man. A couple more. Yep, got them down already. Recent uprisings in Austria clearly show that the people there long to be united with the Reich. It's not time to take action. Allow the will of the people to be made manifest. How can anyone say that Austria is not German? Demand Sudan Lamb. The fate of the Sudan Germans was one of the worst injustices inflicted by the Treaty of Versailles. They must be brought under our protection regardless of check objections. Beautiful. Um, you have mountaineers with engineers. We have these guys. Actually, their guys are actually better than ours. You know the division, don't worry about that. There we go. Mm. You know what, you go there. It'll be fine. 
do this. That's true. And you guys are all infantry. You'll train a whole bunch. Von Klusha. Oh, Carl Ebersee. I love Carl. Anything else here? No? Very good. Ah, Anschluss of Austria. As it should be. Question of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Upon well, the return of Austria to the Reich, we are now share a border with the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. The recent, uh, the government of Prince Paul has been fairly quiet about their stance on a proposed ordering of Europe. Perhaps we should remind them the time will come when they must make a choice. Wait a squeeze? I like squeezing. Squeezing is fun. Give you a little squeeze. Ooh, we got a new pilotness. Both. Both calm. I like both. Collaborators, nothing there. At least not yet. Armor. MIAG. Oh, huh, that's interesting. That with resistance and stuff. Uh, military staff. Anyone else we can really grab anti sub dude? Uh, infantry wouldn't be bad. Theorist, I mean, Theorist is kind of a waste for us because we are going to get enough things here, anyways. Ooh, Heinz would be so good, though. Yeah, maybe we'll go with Heinz. We'll see. I do want to do more research stuff. Material designers as well. Doing all stuff would be very beneficial, too. So, Join in the best battle, my friends. After the demands of Denton land, we'll probably befriend Japan just to make it look nice. We've had a long fruitful relationship with China, but our ambitions might be better served instead by aligning with our kindred warrior culture of Japan, and if it means throwing China to the wolves. The Munich Conference. Talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Germany, Britain, France, and Italy to discuss future Czechoslovakia. Well, the British and French have accepted our clans to Denton land as legitimate, and the previous offers of support to the Czechs have been rescinded. We recognize the helplessness of the situation the Czechs have surrendered the Sudan territories to us. The oppressed German inhabitants will long last be brought into the Vaudeland. Historic day for Germany. Great. Also, I do something really, really cool to show you. Um... Really, really good for us. Oh, what's going on here? Peace in your time. Shut up. Uh, we're preferring Japan right now, and then we're going to do the first Vienna War, maybe? Yeah. Hungarians were one of the people that suffered the worst after the Great War. In the slaughter of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, many Hungarians were stranded on foreign soil, through their, though their ancestors had lived there for ages. We could greatly improve our relations with the Hungarians by awarding them some territories from Czechoslovakia. Um, but here, I get that AG. It gives you minus 10% consumer goods factories. That's insane. That's really, 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 really strong. I love that a lot. That is so good. So good. Slightly more factories. Building up uh, more more millies now. And yeah. Overall, that was really, really strong. I love it. That was really, really good for us. There's some really cool stuff down here. Like, this one's not bad. Potsevaka. Pretty cool. Deutsche Edelstahlwerk. Encryption. I like that. DEA. Not the Drug Enforcement Agency. But Deutsche Erdöl Aktiengesellschaft, which is not bad. Even more compliance speed and synthetic oil research speed and local uh, available resources. Even though... Uh, ooh, what is this? Daily Exile Manpower Gain, Ventures Hall. Fuel gain from refiners, this is activities chance goes down. It gives you flat 10% more research speed, which is really good too. This one's really good too. Deutsche uh, Reichsbahn. It's not bad. More reinforced rate. Army organization regain. I love what we can do here. And then Volkswagen, more daily political power, which we don't really, really need any more political power. We have a very good amount anyways. Uh, factory output, industrial research speed. Honestly, we got to go with crop just because like we're researching a whole bunch of industry stuff. Like We're going... A little nuts with all this stuff, which is great. I love it. And I got first Vienna Awards next. Uh, Spain has fallen to the Nationals, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And then uh, we're still struggling here in China. But they get did get Qingdao, which is very, very good in my opinion. We're doing just a crap ton of damage down here, though, which I love. Can we not duplicate this? What's going on? Uh, can we get any more uh, cast here? Go and do that if you can. And more cast, yes please. That'd be nice. No more wars for now. It's only 38, so we gotta wait just a little bit longer. Ching Dao, yes. Just just tons of damage. Tons of damage. I love it. Love it. More trade, yes, with those boys. We love the boys. More fuel's not bad too. Especially when these guys are spreading out like crazy. Um, let's go with more ground support. How oh, having well coordinated planes helping out in combat helps you fight your troops better. Also, we did I did get with some Stuka Air Twos. Basically, I maxed them out. Reliability is not great, but you know I don't really care. Reliability is like forty percent, but the air superiority is okay. Ground attack is ten. It's not bad. Range is ten fifty. 
Reliability is like halved of what it was, but you know, whatever. Bye. I don't really care. Could have gotten a war economy, but oh we'll wait, whatever. Actually. Ah, we can integrate them, which would be good to do next. But you know, we've got so much stuff anyways here, anyways. Um Economic blocks, four factories each. We can both become satellites. I want to do that before we war actually breaks out, hopefully. So get all this stuff done. Because, my God, it takes so long to get all this stuff done. Planes, not bad. Naval stuff. I'm not really focusing too much on the naval stuff right now, which we might want to do. But we got a lot of stuff over here to do as well. Nice. And you guys go right there for now. It's fine. You guys are over there. You guys are over there. No issue so far. You guys come over there, which is fine. Do more trade stuff. It's fine, fine, fine. First being award, of course, too. If we get more air bases, that'd be delightful. Oh, do we own that? Do they, do they own that? No, not yet. Fourth International, so be it. Of course, not enough damage is being done just yet. At this point. Um, we don't need as many tanks. We need some medium tanks, though. But first, Vienna Award, and then we'll finish Czechoslovakia. Because technically, we should have already got that one done now, but whatever. The time has come to divide the old Czech lands between those who can govern them properly. They should consider the creation of a separate Slovak state public to the east. Pretty much. Beam machine, very nice. Got some of this too. Nice. Very good. Your superiority. Might as well, right? Um, military command. Bad weather penalty. Army organization. I want more attack. I just want more attack, to be honest with you. Military command. But let's get some more of this, maybe. Daily air XP recovery. Infantry is still not bad to get, because we'll still need quite a few infantry guys here, too. That's a battle. Air superiority. Mm. I, I like the air superiority a little bit more than the other things. Of course, we can just go straight to war economy, too. Yeah, maybe we'll just go, to go, go to war economy first. Because we won't take this one. We'll go integrate the war economies. And what does this require? Independent. There's a faction. And we could use West Wall as well. But, you know, we'll get there. Nice, my millies. Uh, what are we lacking? Light tanks. Yeah, light tanks and planes, really. Let's go with two. We'll need to get some millies eventually as well. Or mediums, I mean. You guys are okay. Go two, two. And medium tanks. Improved light tanks. Yeah, which one do we want? Um, two service manpower, five defense, almost 30 breakthrough. Five defense, more than 30. 85% hardness. Actually, let me just look at what these are. 85, 50, 54 armor, and almost 40 breakthrough. 56 armor. Five defense. Just five defense. 75%, uh, 79% supply use is slightly the same actually. 2.3 speed. You guys. We'll slowly start converting our divisions over to this one. Uh, civilian factories, get some refineries. We're going to need like infinite refineries eventually too. Infinite refineries. Before the war breaks out, we'll get some of those guys too. And then what? Like I said, those guys can wait. Reinforce rate, better supply consumption. Uh, free repair. Wow. Military factory construction speed minus 50%. Holy crap. That's pretty bad. Cryptology? That's, that's, that's definitely different. Waffen, Vecca, Brunn. Factory output plus 10%. Plus 10% plus 10 re, uh, reinforce rate. Wow. Equipment capture ratio. That's not bad. Rocket damage. Probably not going to use that one. I love. Like, this gives you just so much. It feels like more options than what you normally get. Like, normally. Oh, I said War Economy. Should have went to that one way earlier, but whatever. Way more fuel now. Way, 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 way more fuel. We throw more planes here? Yeah, technically, yes. More damage, please. If possible. Uh. We probably should just deploy a crap ton of planes. Here, do that. 
do that one and over here we're gonna deploy even more casts so I want you to train actually but you are actually gonna do this I'm right, gonna do that for the eight doing all this up which is good you just throw you all down here that might just be for the best yeah I just do that Make sure we clear out this entire area first, and then we'll move towards this side. Japan is doing a lot better than they did historically right now, I think. Then again, who am I? I don't know. Uh, more trade, good. Ah, a bit too much. It's okay. Where are the deck bombers? There you go. Yeah, you guys help it down there. I'll be okay for now. 38. 38. Keep trading more stuff. Close out of that one. Collaborators, nothing yet. Makes sense. First VNA award. Army Innovations 2, which is not bad either. But Finnish Czechoslovakia. Which I think is in 39. I can't remember. I played way too much Hoi 4 that I can't remember what actually Hoi 4 is like anymore. So you guys, focus down here maybe. So they lost a bunch of air support over there, but they're fighting the mountains anyways. It's going to take forever. I'd rather get more of the interior of Ch uh, China anyways. Than anything else. Actually, how much does MEFO bills cost? Minus 0.65. That's a lot. That's quite a bit. Almost out of time. Grab some of that because we'll use those guys quite a bit too. And what else? Dutch for Slovakia. Danzig for Slovakia or Slovakia for war. And we go. Whoa, we'll wait. I want Romania with us. Mm. They're half fascist already. Some good daily fascist support, anything like that? No. You can wait, maybe, because this one it doesn't require you to be. You can be at war when doing this one too. Colonization. This one will be very strong to get to. Innovations to rocketry. You mean Slovenia? You might be able to do that one actually, which is not very historical, obviously. But whatever. West Wall. That wouldn't be bad. Colocalization. Air innovations. It's not bad. Kind of can. Don't have to do that one though. That's yeah, fine. Do this one too. Nice. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Increase trade, just please. 140 political power. What else do we want here? More coffee. Yes, please. Always more coffee needed. Synthetic fuel gain from refineries. Resistance activity chance. Even more industrial research speed. Like, we need a lot of industrial research speed. Encryption is not bad either, though. I love the factory output as well. I like the compliance, too. Synthetics. I mean, we're going to be doing that a whole bunch anyways, so... What about all this stuff, though? More daily air XP? I mean, we really don't need more daily air XP. If anything, we need more naval stuff. I don't get this guy because he gives us more stuff there. Theorists. National Stick of Thailand, which is fine. Army regrouping. I mean, this will give us a buff to that stuff, too. Anything here that we really want? Um, decryption power is not bad. I like cryptology level as well. Factory output. That's just so strong. Plus 10%. Reinforcement is pretty good. You know what? Get more output. Nebelungen Vek. 10% more output. Vedic Slovakia. Nice. Got that one stuff done too. Logistics are nice. Where to put them civvies? I'll do that for now. So you have a little bit on rubber. And chromium. Oh. We're looking very good around here. Any other air bases down here? Ooh. Down to Taiwan, maybe? Help out, support the guys down here. Free infantry equipment. Happy 1939, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. Get more of that stuff. That would be great. I'm feeling pretty good as long as we get enough stuff here. But the question of Yugoslavia. With the Czech Republic out of the way, the balance of power in southeastern Europe has shifted dramatically. Czech arms and money were used to support a number of countries that now need to look for new sponsors. Perhaps it's time to remind Prince Paul of the fact. I love squeezing. Um, research Eastern claims. The Great War saw the loss of the much German territory in the East with the re resurrection of Poland and the transfer of Mamel to Lithuania. An ultimatum shall be sent to both nations, but Poland at least will likely not bow to mere words. 
with the end of Czechoslovakia is at hand. And our forces are marching into <clears throat> Prague at this very moment. With the surrender of the Czechoslovakian military, we've liberated vast quantities of armaments. Their tanks, in particular, should serve our forces well. Berman will be annexed into Germany as a protectorate. Well, what should become of Slovakia? We could set them up as an autonomous puppet state under Tizo. Partition them? This one gives us more war support. We just straight up annex and get a puppet. Ooh, better political powers. Uh, it all belongs to all of us. Nah. Honestly, it's not very historical that it gets just hungry, but they already like us. And it'll make them stronger. As much as I like Slovakia, just do that one. There you go. Well, it should make them stronger in theory, but whatever. And, and not, lag is definitely not an issue in this campaign, just because uh, so. we have optimizations, which I love. I love optimizations. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Also, if they want to go to war with us. Um, in the meantime, you know what? Run bikes. We can send them to China, but that'd be a terrible idea. Here. Come down here first. If we have to deal with the Yugoslavians first, fine. Oh, so be it. You all... Just a thrust into the through here. That would be quite good. Yes, please. Free of such Eastern claims, down to war, demands Slovenia. The Treaty of St. Germain and Lai, so many historic Austrian territories passed out to successor states. With Austria once again united with the German nation and some and these injustices. The historic province of Carnola and Styria, which are now known as Slovenia, must, 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 must be brought home. Uh, uh, ah, yeah, that's fine. Turn again, you get max infrastructure there. Anyways, Rhineland. Uh, nice. That's good. And for 39, get some better machine and pistola. Uh, more industry. Population. Research speed, stuff like that. That's good, 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 good. 39. 10 more ships. What happens if you start training? We're going to run a lot of fuel, aren't we? What do you train as well? Definitely doing all right for now. Uh, too many guys there, perhaps. Perhaps. Lots of casts. You don't want to sit over here, but you know what? It doesn't hurt that much more. Look at all that. Just drop them. Nice. Oh, we got another plane back. Not good. Not good. I'll grab that for now. It's fine. Whatever. Yes. Heart attacks, off to attack, good stuff. And then we'll be done with the land doctrine before, or air doctrine, I should say, before the war even broke out. Can't go there yet. God dang it. Come on. Actually, if you need to stay up here, that's fine with me. You guys come up here. Start doing some more damage so you don't lose as much. What do we have over here? Not enough stuff. Never enough. There you go. Come on. Oh, you actually got in circle. That sucks, bro. Nice. They fall. The Lithuanian government has agreed to our demands. Mamel will be incorporated back into East Prussia. Yet another unlawfully stolen province has been returned to the German nation. Yay, you got like a factory. Anti comet impact. Well, we'll do that after we get a call Poland, probably. Versus Liliana War, we can wait for that one too. Colloquialization. Molotov Ribbon Drop Act. Yeah, I'll probably do that one. A tree of friendship and non aggression with the USSR might turn the stomach, but it'll allow our precious oil to keep flowing into Germany. Let's look at addendum. We'll divide the territories of Romania, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, and Finland into the German and Soviet spheres of influence. They must approve, which, unhistorical, I'm going to assume that they will approve. In the meantime, I don't want to forget about this stuff, so fighters. Three, two, uh, attack bombers are fine for now. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you all should do this. There you go. And there you go. Naval bombers, naval bombers. Do that. Do that. Do that. That at least divides them up a little better. And then... 
We have even more fighters, which is great. One. Yeah, I should do this one. Two. One, two. In the meantime, we're gonna need two guys just defending here anyways. One goes right there. Good, 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 good. And bikes. Uh, let's go right there. One Monstein. Good. Of course, once we leave here, the uh, Japanese are definitely gonna not do as well. We're done with our air doctrine already. Holy crap. Completely done with it. Wow. Kinda nuts. Cancel MFO bills. It hurts for a while, but that's alright. We got a lot of guns. Ooh, toad entry air would be good to throw on these guys too, just in case. Alright. Motorize. They're okay too. Keep going with that for now. Dismantle Czechoslovakian forts. Actually, do we have any collaborators? Not yet. Electronics Industry 3. Go with some of that stuff too. Well, with us going to war very soon, anything else here that we really care about? 10% more recon's not bad. Uh, breakthrough. 5% more breakthrough would be very nice. 4 damage from combat plus 10%. 5% more re uh, reinforcement speed. Caption. Ooh. Free repair. Re just straight up reinforce rates, nice too. We need more manpower as well, though. Decryption. Cryptology level. You know what? I like that a lot. We'll wait till we actually go to war for that stuff. Um, that's going to be bad either. Damage garrisons goes down, which is pretty good. More war support, more fascist, uh, daily fascist support. Don't really have to have that either. Ah, we'll wait to get Carl Donuts. Why not? Donuts Daddy's next. And we'll eventually do the second Vienna Award. We'll do all that stuff. Industry, pretty good. And well, new governments. Uh, we expect the great powers of Europe to sit around the table and come to equitable agreements in the name of peace. Instead, the British and French have chosen to support the upstart Yugoslavs and the artificial states. Slovenia will be ours one way or another. We will not be denied. Crisis in, crisis in Slovenia. Just fine, whatever. Oh, we take out Romania that way too, huh? Well, so be it. If we can't go to war with them immediately, that's okay. You guys will be fine. You guys can stop training for now. Because I want you to punch a hole straight through here. Why don't you go through here and just go straight up through there if you can. And then do that. That's what opens too. Even more heavy support weapons. That'd be nice. Mr. Schmidler. Hopefully this video does not get demonetized. For the love of God, I hope it does not get demonetized. Some of my videos have gotten demonetized in the past, which sucks. Um, honestly, you don't really need any more supply, re supply reduction. These guys will become even thicker in the future, so... You might as well just put them on for now. It does lower our armor a little bit, but whatever. This does lower your defense by 18, which is quite a bit, but you get a little more soft stack, a little more breakthrough, more fuel, fuel consumption, piercing, and stuff like that. Um, will we have enough life tanks for this? And by doing this... Overall, more reliability, more heart attack, more armor, piercing. Eh, might as well do it, why not? Screw it. 1200. So really, you... You guys will do this. One will go in the water. One will go over here, too. Actually, no, duplicate that to go right there. And even more casts. We're running out of casts. We need more casts. We need more rubber. We need a lot of, we need a lot of stuff. Of course, we have a lot of cast just in Asia, just kind of hanging out. Just in case. There you go. More Dutch trade. 
What's going on down here? Ace pilot events? Any more ace pilots? No, not really. Our team has not really been that successful down here. Really disappointing. Oh, you're fighting. Yeah, it's Uruguay, okay. It's Uruguay, not anyone else, okay. Uh, anti air? Sure, why not? Better stuff there. That's good, 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 good. I'll get that one done first. Come on, come on, 21st of August. And we'll call it an episode by going to war. Nice. Molotov Ribbon Drop Act. Nice. Oh, we can't do Denzel to War. Oh, we need more manpower in the field. God dang it. Is that enough manpower in the field now? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, another 70 focus. Oh. Danzig was German. Danzig has remained German. Danzig shall be German from now on. If Napoleon does not see the territory, we must prepare the German people for the inevitable war. Danzig and the surrounding lands will return to Germany. So, we'll do that. And if they don't give it to us, then uh, I know we're behind schedule. We'll take a poll by the end of this episode and then call it an episode. Soviet Union has already wisely agreed to our non aggression pact plan. This means that we're free to act without risk of Soviet intervention. Unfortunately, some of our friends now question Germany's commitment towards the ultimate destruction of communism. What matters that with Poland and France have been settled, we may need to revisit this treaty, but that is a discussion for another time. Excellent. I'll just go to war with Yugoslavia right now, but we're probably not going to do that. So that's that. There's that. There's that. Oh, what do I want here? Armor speed. Uh, heart attack and armor. Reliability. Destroyers, soft attack, reliability. We get more breakthrough. That's not bad, but we don't really need that stuff. Hmm. I mean, always more armor is good. Speed, though. Speed. Speed or armor? I like the reliability as well. We'll go with you. For 30, we'll just go with you probably. And for another 30, eventually, what is this up first? All right, in the meantime. Start reducing our dependence on these guys a little bit more. Make it up for that stuff there. 39, yes, yes, yes. More sent the fuel, refineries, that's fine. There we go. And what do we want here? Less heavy attack, I don't like that. Carriers need more armor and HP, not really. Victor and Quisling in Berlin. I'll talk about him in just a little bit too. Screens, carriers, subs, subs, less range, less production cost, no. More speed, less heavy attack, less deck size. I don't sure if I like that. Screens. Less heavy attack, less deck size. Less deck size. Hmm. Well, if we have to choose one of these, more speed is not bad. Nordsi Vaka Emden. Ah, I'll do that one. Big Gunquism, leader of the Norwegian Nation Samling. The Norwegian equivalent of the NSDAP has come to Berlin for a series of meetings and talks with a big daddy and has expressed some uh, uh, high ranking military seats, military officials. Hitler, despite some reservations expressed by some of his advisors, appeared to have taken quite the shine to the Norwegian, who, among the other things, has presented to us an elaborate plan for a possible invasion of the USSR. Of course, his plans are completely useless in a military sense. With little grasp of actual numbers and equipment to the Germans and Soviet armies, but the effort and commitment to anti-Bolshevik crusades definitely left an impression, so much so that Hitler has made vague suggestions that we may aid Quisling in overthrowing the Norwegian government, if we find such a thing necessary. The question is, though, is this a promise that we actually want to make, and keep, let alone keep? We shall encourage Quisling to prepare a coup, which will occur if we capture Oslo. We'll then have the option to establish a Norwegian puppet state, either under Quisling or joint German-Norwegian government. Surely fool. After this, we got to raise our uh, manpower levels. You guys, good luck. And we need Westwall too. So if the a war, we'll do well, Westwall. The Westwall runs parallel to the France's vaunted Maginot Line. Occupying much of the same ground as the Siegfried Line did in the previous Weltkrieg, fortifying its defenses will allow us to uphold or hold the border with fewer men, freeing up divisions to participate in any potential Eastern campaigns.
I should just hop up, up the top just a wee bit more. Any other planes of sorts? Yes. Mm, go there. You're going to need some extra help anyways. Probably. Do this, but you in half. Bing, bong, boom. Send one over there, and then send another 100 right to the screen. To our artillery. Get our artillery, please. You're straight, that's fine. I want to take a pull in first. You gotta get the poles. I love poles. Nice. Fighters. Go with two. Go in the water. One go in the water, one go over here. And then. Another group? Why not? Screw it. Do we have any naval bombers? Not enough. Guarantee you that. Uh, do the things of fighters here. So Northeastern. All right, East Germany Army Five, standing by. Naval bombs, naval bombs. There we go. And yeah, uh, upgrades. Uh, might as well do that one too. And keep focusing on a lot of industry. Oh, military factories. Good. What are we missing besides planes? Naval bombers. Yeah. Naval bombing boys. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. More arty, probably. Way more support equipment. Down to go war. If you lose a German ultimatum, of course, like normal. Uh, around the Magino, you know, we'll do that next after we do this one. Save the game just in case. And have a little rip. Oh, how are we doing in Asia before we do that? So, we helped the Japanese out quite a bit. Either they're going to struggle quite a quite a great amount once uh, we go to war with Poland, but whatever. Oh wait, do we not get a war goal? Ah, they refuse to see Danzig. Despite our attempts to allow Pen Poland to hand over Danzig peacefully, even vowing to give up the our claims on other German territories in exchange, we have been met with a refusal. As expected, the world gives nothing to, to us that we do not seize by force. <coughs> Excuse me, they know very well what the alternative is. Hmm, that's interesting. Alright, daily fascism increase. April Constitution. Polish militarism. For your plan. On the high seas, we shall go and run out of fuel like normal. Let's see what we can do here. No. Get the planes in. And as we are literally just trucking up north. Ah, they joined. There you go. And these guys have been cut off already. Beautiful. Um, they lost two subs, which is great. Two more subs. Early subs. Subs, subs, subs. Two more subs. Subs. Nice. Between allies, we lost a sub, whatever. Here, we should be able to bomb the living crap out of them, in all honesty. Uh, are they taking their lines at all? No. Oh, hello. Oh, you got Slavies down here fighting us too? I did not realize that. My bad. Hey, why are they join the allies then? I don't understand. Well, I'm glad I looked. No hurt before the attack because we're losing a lot of the southern territory. My bad. Recon too, if we want to do some recon, of course. If we want. Let the tanks move very quickly through all this through these areas. Should be fine. Ooh, we lost six subs. How did we lose six subs? Especially with all this air, uh, air superiority here. Oh! Sink a lot of British stuff. Yes, yes, subs, yes, yes, yes. Keep these guys going. Keep them going. Good! You're done up there? No, you're not. And now, where are those extra planes that we had? Fighters, eh? That we had earlier. Uh, more casts. Ah. Uh, let's look for planes. Ah. Go. 
Go, go, go. Nice. So we got some convoys being made. Um, we want to get a 1940 subs quickly. Anything really here that we really want to make? I mean, I like light cruisers. They're very quite nice to have. Obviously, we don't have a lot of stuff to upgrade them with. We need to for now. It's fine, but still. Go in. Losses. Fall of Warsaw. 28,000 versus 150,000, which is pretty darn good, I'm not going to lie. Ah, civil invasion. Good. Forgot about that, too. Ooh. Ah, Poland's gone. Very nice. So that's the case. Send you guys like right here and just concentrate as many tanks in the one area as possible. Yes. Uh, war support? Sure. War bonds? Sure. Oh, crap, I forgot manpower too. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, radar's okay. Civilian factories, why not? Actually, take that off for there. Fuel is not looking good, but we can trade off with the Soviets for now for more fuel. And more rubber, why not? Mm. Or Romania. That should help us out a little bit, right? Go in. Oh, you guys are just kind of hanging out, that's true. That looks really disgusting. Um, here, get ready for these guys. Not bad, not bad. Gonna need a little bit more rubber or fuel as well. Thank you. It's fine. Use what we use whatever we need. You know, get even more then. How much damage are we doing? We should be doing an insane amount of damage, in all honesty. 6.2, we're not doing enough though. Never seems like enough. Thank you. What's going on here? Romania, please. Um, even more fuel, yes. Force it. Seriously, force it. Go right here. Partitioning Poland. Poland is ours, but these in part falls under the Soviet sphere of influence, according to the stipulations of the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Should we withdraw the force and let the Soviets occupy this territory? If you do so, uh, render our treaty void. State of Croatia. Our armies captured parts of Croatia. We can establish a royal government. Royal government in Zagreb. Yes. We're gonna occupy that part. It's fine. Lost a couple of things here. Ooh. Some more British ships. Good, kill them all off. We get Vilnius, huh? Good. Subs go bye bye, subs go bye bye. Destroyed, been sunk. That's a lot of planes, ships. Oh wow, we're almost at us. Holy crap. Let's go home. It's fine. Better say it's fine. Lost 90,000 so far, mostly due to Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavia should have lost 70, 72,000. Yeah. We already got quite a few Frenchies, too. Not a lot, but some. Just know that you should all do this. Right here. Uh, mobile infantry. Yeah, probably good. The other way is not bad, too, but still. Front influence. Yeah, close out of that one for now. Manpower. West wall. Follow it up with... Is it Ubung? Any comment on pact? Coal liquidization. Germany is locking in oil, so we must redouble our efforts in the field of synthetic oil. Yes, we do. Ah, rubber. Bugger the rubber. There you go. Alright, not bad. It is 1940. Happy 1940, everybody. Forty damage is still not enough. I'm very surprised at that, actually. Get artillery excavation. Get some more coordination. Uh, 
Yugoslavians or we will die. And they're out of manpower, so it's probably going to be them, not us. But yeah, I'll link the mod, the, the mod in the description below to make sure that it's for you all to see what it's like. Actually, how are we losing? Huh, we lost some support. Well, we need some Gerbil's daddies. Which operative capture day? Abvel, yes, please. For me to take chassis, 1940, get some better fuck wolves, yes. So then we can start using our air speed for that stuff too. Is advanced machine tools, yes. Instruction speed, yes. Store holes, yes. Yes, yes, a lot of yeses. Some no's, but a lot of yeses. How are these guys coming out this way? How are these guys not dead yet? I, I wonder. Seriously, how are they not dead? We take the capitals. Several times. Several times over. How and why they're not capitulated, I do not understand. British operative captured. Soviet demands. Even more rubber. How, how close are they to capitulating? This is stupid. Why is it designed like this to be just god awful? The war out there's ours. Very good. Either you win or they win. It better not be them. Dubrovnik. This is stupid. Do anything here? Infantry, you already have a guy who does that. Infantry attack. I'll go with Ambusher for this one. Okay, that was stupid. Why, why it took so long to capitulate these guys? I think that's a giant mistake by the devs, but whatever. You don't need to take out literally every single tile from Yugoslavia to capitulate them. That makes no sense. But whatever. Uh, we're going company twos. Uh, get some military, military police. We could probably use those guys. More manpower, of course, more fuel, but what else is new? And we'll end w this episode with what? On the Maginot? Yeah. If we want to ensure tactical advantage in France, we need to also hit them from all sides. I'm not expecting an attack from the north, which is exactly what we'll hit them from, once we've disposed of a few obstacles. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll take out the little countries, and probably even the French Republic. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.